The summer's most anticipated blockbuster movie is celebrating the culture and contributions of Latinos in New York City. Lin-Manuel Miranda is bringing in the heights his Broadway play to the silver screen. He's being applauded for more than his musical numbers. The cast is nearly all Latino, something rarely seen in Hollywood. For many Latinos, it's the first time seeing their lived experience being highlighted in mainstream culture. Let's bring in NBC, NBC News digital reporter Nicole Acevedo, who joins us now with more. So first of all, Nicole, Tell us how In the Heights is breaking some stereotypes that we often see in movies and on TV. Absolutely. I mean, what this movie really does is give a spotlight to the characters, the Latino characters that we often see at the margins of other people's stories that are being told in big Hollywood blockbusters. From the old lady that you may see at the bodega, the convenience store, to a first-generation college student. And the way the filmmakers accomplish that is by really focusing on the dreams and aspirations of these characters and how those connect them to the community, this tight-knit community, community that they really love so much. You wrote an article for NBCNews.com and you say Anthony Ramos, the star, claimed that this movie is bigger than him. So how does this movie tackle the Latino experience and what does Lin-Manuel Miranda hope viewers take away from this? It, it felt very big because you don't often see Latino culture and our heritage celebrated at such a big scale. And, and that felt like a big moment and quite honestly, big shoes to fill for a community that doesn't get to see themselves in Hollywood films as often. In the past six years, nearly half of these films don't even um, count with Latinos in speaking roles. So having this overload of Latinos in a big screen was a big deal for Anthony Ramos. And when Lemonol was creating In the Heights, you know, he, he essentially wanted to tell Latinos, you're not defined by your hardships, your aspirations and dreams matter, and your heritage is a point of pride that should be celebrated. I know the film was screened la screen last night in Washington Heights as part of the Tribe Tribeca Film Festival. What was the response? I mean, aside from the, the screening in Washington Heights, there were about a dozen other screenings happening across New York City in an effort to really get the community engaged. That sparked other people to say, you know what, I'm going to do ticket giveaways. They're so proud of this movie that they want to share that with other people and give them tickets to go see it in the movie theater. And that's meaningful because a community that was so hard hit by the pandemic, being enclosed for so long, now as more people continue to come out of, of you know, getting vaccinated and, and being safe out there, being able to go to a movie theater and this is the movie that Latinos get to see, it's a big deal. It's some pretty good timing. And I know people who've seen the movie, <laughs> I've only heard amazing things about it. So, Nicole, thank you so much. Good to see you this morning. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.